Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to carry out calculations using the ideal gas equation. In the last video we saw that the ideal gas equation is used for gases which may not be at room temperature and pressure. And remember that it's critical that you double check all your units when using the ideal gas equation. Here's a question for you to try. Calculate the volume in decimeters cubed of 0.5 moles of methane. The temperature is 40 degrees Celsius and the pressure is 101 kilopascals. Give your answer to three significant figures. So pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, the first thing we need to do is convert all of our values to the correct units. The temperature is given in degrees Celsius, so we need to convert this to Kelvin by adding 273. This gives us a temperature of 313 Kelvin. The pressure is given in kilopascals, so we need to convert this to pascals by multiplying by 1000. This gives us a pressure of 101,000 pascals. Now I should point out that 101,000 pascals is actually atmospheric pressure, and it's worth learning that. Okay, we need to work out the volume of the methane gas, so we need to rearrange the ideal gas equation, and I'm showing that here. We've got 0.5 moles of methane. The ideal gas constant has a value of 8.314 joules per mole per Kelvin, and the temperature is 313 Kelvin. The pressure is 101,000 pascals. Putting these values into the equation gives us a volume of 0.0129 meters cubed. Now the question asks for the volume in decimeters cubed, so we need to multiply the volume in meters cubed by 1,000. This gives us a volume of 12.9 decimeters cubed to three significant figures. Coming up, I'll give you a question to try yourself. Okay, here's a question for you. 2.5 moles of hydrogen gas has a volume of 20 decimeters cubed. The temperature is 80 degrees Celsius. Calculate the pressure of the gas. So pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, first we need to convert all of our values to the correct units. The volume of the gas is 20 decimeters cubed. We need to convert that to meters cubed by dividing by 1000. This gives us a volume of 0.02 meters cubed. The temperature is 80 degrees Celsius. We need to convert that to Kelvin by adding 273. This gives us a temperature of 353 Kelvin. OK, now we can calculate the pressure of the gas, and I've rearranged the ideal gas equation for pressure here. We've got 2.5 moles of hydrogen and the temperature is 353 Kelvin. The volume is 0.02 meters cubed. Putting these values into the equation gives us a pressure of 366,855.25 pascals, and that's our final answer. In the next video, we look at how to apply the ideal gas equation to chemical reactions. 